Got him. All right, as you can see, I've placed the Velcro on the bottom, so now I just got to pull this little piece off. Let me do that now, and then we'll stick it on that spot right there, and hopefully it'll stick and stay there temporarily, but borderline permanently until I decide to move it. Okay, so this still has some flex in it. It can still bend up, so it's not extremely tight on that. If I want to pull that up, that comes up. Set it back down. Here we go. It looks pretty good. I've got some room. And if I needed to, I've still got quite a bit of hose. I've still got quite a bit of this hose. If I ever felt like that this needed more room, which right now I don't feel like it does because the water's just got to be able to shoot straight through. And I'm kind of a firm believer in a straight shot is better than wrapping it around and all of that. So I think what I'll do as well is I'll put some of this on the bottom of this gas tank. And that way the gas tank will sit in one spot as well. So I took two pieces of Velcro and I put them on the ground here and I cleaned that up as well. So hopefully this will stick. And I also kind of heated it up and I, I wish I could say that I heated it up with a heat gun but I don't have one with me. Uh, I don't have, I just have a plug-in one and I don't have a battery operated one. So I guess I'll have to get one of those or I'll have to get a generator of some sort. But I'm going to take off the strips on the back of this Velcro and then I'm going to set this tank right here on top of there. You know, I just need something just like this. Just to keep it in one spot so it's not splashing around and opening it up. I don't have my tripod with me, so I have to keep turning the camera off and I can't show you guys as I'm doing this. But I'll show it afterwards. I mean, it's just Velcro. Alright guys, here it is. It's stuck on there pretty good. So there's actually some gas in there. I know you can hear this little thing ticking. But I just wanted to get those two things out of the way. I took the battery out to charge it. And so I've got all these wires. And what I decided that I'm going to do is right here, I am going to place the battery right here. And I'll have a trolling motor update for you guys. What I ended up deciding to do with the trolling motor. I think some of you will like it. And some of you will go, oh man, come on. But, you know, like I said, everything that I'm trying to do with this boat, I'm trying to make it where it's safe for me and my son to be on. So I have to make some decisions. Originally, I thought I was going to do stuff a certain way and as time progresses I end up having to do it a different way but you'll see that very soon I had gasoline leaking out of this little thing right here so I was told to see if dang that's tight guys ah, shoot I was hoping that this thing was going to be loose but it is not which means that I'm going to have to get the carburetor looked at. It looks like I will have to do a phone call with my number one ace marine mechanic to either take this apart and take it to him or send it to him or he might be able to kind of walk me through some things to check. So we'll get back to that. But Again, I'm not a mechanic, so I just don't, once, if I took something apart, I just don't know that I'm, what I'm doing is correct, and I don't really want to mess anything up and make it worse than it is. Like I told you guys in the last video, 
this was leaking fuel. Fuel was just pouring out of here. And I didn't know if it was coming from here, if it was coming from here, or if it was coming from somewhere else. I'm gonna show you that video now. I'll put it up on the screen. But as you can see, it's just leaking out. And I'm not positive exactly where it was leaking from. Another really cool thing that I picked up is I picked up these boat cleats. And I actually think that these, because of the bottom of them, are for maybe a flat surface in a dock or something like that, or ornamental or something, ornamental. But I'm going to try, I'm going to try and put them right here. Yeah, see how, I don't know if they're gonna work right there or not. I'll find out once I drill them down because I believe if I drill them down and then maybe put some marine sealant around the bottom of this that they will stay in place. It's thundering outside. So I have this transducer right here. It's go going to go on the back of the 1964 aluminum craft boat. Well, I have a piece of plastic right here and basically I drilled the transducer into the plastic. The screws that are poking out, I'm going to shave them off with this Dremel, hopefully. And then I'm going to put 5200 on the back of this and fasten that to the back of the transom on the 1964 Lumicraft boat. The reason being is I just do not want to put any more holes in the boat. I'm gonna need you to do me a favor. I'm gonna need you to put this over your eyes. Why? Just over your eyes. Okay. Hold on, let me do it. Okay. All right, can you see? Yeah. Okay. Stand right here. Okay. I see that. Take it off your... <laughs> I see it. Do you know what it is? Nope. You don't, nope, you don't know what it I is? It's a new trolling motor. What do you think, buddy? Yeah. Huh? We got a brand new trolling motor to put up here. Don't take these off. I, I'm, I glued something up here and, uh, well, <laughs> apparently that didn't work. <laughs> well, all right. Mm -hmm. That did not work at all. Oh, well, I'll try something. I was going to try glue, hot gun, hot glue, hot a, I was hot going to try a glue. hot glue gun but I don't have any electricity over here yes you do no I don't yes you do don't lie to subscribers <laughs> that like watching we picked up a Minn Kota Edge 45 pound thrust 42 inch shaft foot controlled trolling motor that we're going to put on the front of this bad boy right here That's for my other channel. We haven't showed you guys this right here that we picked up. I showed you the transducer, but we picked up a Humminbird GPS unit, a 788CI HD. And that transducer is gonna go on the back of the boat back there. And I'm gonna mount this somewhere, excuse the mess in here. But I figure, because we're gonna be sitting here and it'll be a rear mount, that maybe I'll mount it and I'll put a box or something right here and maybe I'll mount it here on this back bench. I don't know. You guys give me some advice on where we could mount this thing. Again, excuse the mess, I kind of took everything apart so we could take the battery out and I could install that and that. And But where is a good place? So I've got a bench seat there, a bench seat here, a bench seat here and then that's the front I believe I'll run a board across here and then put some type of piece of wood that goes up and supports it and that'll support the that'll support the trolling motor when I put the trolling motor across here um, I've got a thin piece of wood at home it's basically actually it is the rest of this wood 
that I use for the transom. So I'll put some epoxy on it and everything and then make it strong, sturdy, waterproof. I'm just looking at the boy. He's got a shovel shoveling water. Um, make it strong, sturdy, waterproof and again, semi-permanent. I, I don't, I'm, I know how I am. I'll do stuff and then I say, I don't like that. Dang, I shouldn't have made it permanent. So I'm going to make it semi-permanent and then I'll decide later on what I want to do to make it permanent. I believe this is going to fit, hopefully. I also believe it's going to be overkill for the boat, but here's the thing. Once we got out there the other day and we noticed that, that this trolling motor, the motor guide right here, the 24 pound thrust, the water was choppy and it did not give me full control over the boat. And that bothered me and worried me. When I got my little boy in, in the boat, I wanna make sure that I've got full control. But I wanted something that's gonna give me overkill, full control, control over this boat and the weather, the waves, and any potential hazardous situations that we might may encounter. And I believe this is going to do it. I mean, 45 pound thrust on, on this aluminum boat right here. Anyways, but, uh, oh, something else I picked up too is, you know, we are throwing, let me move these guys. I'm still not exactly sure if these are gonna work for me yet. I've been putting all the life jackets and using this as storage and the top will just fly off. So something else that I picked up was this little Plano box right here. Check this out. How cool is that? So I'm gonna put this, I don't know, maybe right here in the middle and use it as storage. So I guess for now, I'm gonna use this as storage not exactly sure what I'm gonna put in here, but just boat stuff. Do you guys think it would be a good idea to stick this on there? But I'm not even sure if I'm putting this here or if I'm gonna, well, I can't put it up here. I don't know if it would make sense to put it right there. Would it make sense to put it right here? What do you guys think? But this will be pretty good because I'm sitting here. The transducer is gonna be back here. We're sitting here, we're driving the boat. That's gonna get us, give us our depth. You guys tell us what you think. What do you think? Where's a good spot to put that mm -hmm. depth finder? I think on the back. On the back, mm -hmm. like that, where it's at right now? You like it right here? Yep. Maybe I can screw some holes in right here? Sure, yep. I don't know. Let me know in the comments on this, guys. This video is full of you guys helping us out, okay? Just all of your boat building knowledge, all of your boat accessory knowledge. Let us know. Hit us up in the comments. We are open. We are welcoming and open to all suggestions. I'm not saying we're going to use them all, but we're definitely open and welcome to all suggestions. What I'll do is I'll put a piece of this. is not going to be the piece of wood. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it might be. It's pretty sturdy, but I'll... Put this up here just like this. And then I'll put that down there. I've got the wires. I've got extra wires to run it all the way back to the battery. But I believe I'll put it at this angle right here. You guys tell me um, if you've installed trolling motors before, if you guys think that's going to be a good angle. So it's going to, going to be going sort of towards, the head's going to be port side. The prop's going to be starboard side. And I believe without reading the, the directions, but I'll read over the directions that all you have to do is match this up kind of on the side. I don't know, maybe it'll say hang it off just a little bit so it doesn't hit. I know I was kind of all over the place today, but again, I'm, I'm telling you guys that all of this, doing stuff myself is new to me. Uh, typically, I would just go to somebody that I know that knows how to do this stuff and say, hey, I'll, I'll pay you to do this. Um, but I'm trying to do this again because I, when I was brought up, 
I wasn't taught how to fix things and, and do things like that myself. Um, so I want to teach my son how to do that stuff. So I'm going to make mistakes along the way, but hopefully with you guys' help, we won't make too many mistakes. And then again, like I said, it, it, it's kind of a mess in here, but as you can see, I'll put some form of a board here. I don't know if it's going to be this board. I mean, it's pretty thick, this board, but I, this one actually I used for a deadlifting platform. I just don't know if I'm going to use this. I got another piece of wood at home, which was the wood that I stuck on the back of the transom. I may use that. Tiny Boat Nation sells a, a metal piece that I could screw on right here, and maybe it will go back this far. I don't know. Uh, and then I put some type, type of little rod or something underneath there, a piece of wood or something that holds it. Can you see that? There we go. It holds it here it makes it sturdy i'm just not sure exactly what to do yet that's why i need you guys help i need you guys the guys that are builders out there and and have a mechanical mindset give me some ideas if, if you see a video and you think hey ryan you guys should try this drop the video link down in the uh in, in my comments and stuff so i can watch that video um because i i need your help you know what i mean <laughs> hey come here you want to tell him bye? Um, All right, come on over here. Hello, guys. He's coming. All right. We, we appreciate you guys watching this episode today. It's kind of, like I said, it was a little bit all over the place, but we got some things we have to do, and we're still trying to work on a fix for the carburetor. Um, we may be shipping the carburetor off somewhere uh, to our ace number one marine mechanic yeah. to get that fixed. But... We appreciate you watching this episode. If you haven't already, guys, please set the hook on the subscribe button because we will have this boat water. Well, it's, it's water ready, but we will have it fishing ready very soon, won't we? Hopefully. Yep. With your help. All right, guys. Like the video. Set the hook on the subscribe button. And keep it old school. Thanks for watching, Bye. everyone. Sorry. Got him. Okay.